Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Collecting Madness. There's always madness in love and we love collecting. Now you're probably wondering what's going on here. I have Venom in front of me and that is because today we have a little bit of a special unboxing and if you stay tuned till the end, you'll figure out what all the hype is about. So I have this brown package right here and we're gonna open this up and inside are some decals for Venom. Um, I got a few here. This one's a bit more glossy. You can see it's uh, reflective. I got two of those and then you have a more matte finish here. Uh, so it's not as reflective. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these. Uh, got a different design here. We're going to take one of these and we're going to place it on Venom himself. And I'll kind of walk through it and see what it looks like at the end. But we're going to move this over to my desk and we will start to work on placing this decal on Venom. So here we got Venom, got the decals. I'm going to go ahead and try and place this glossy one on first. And he gives you multiple of them. Um, I would like to say shout out to Elvis B. He's in some of the Facebook groups. He sent me these. I don't know if he totally wants me putting his info out there. But uh, I may post a link or not in the description. If not, you can find them in some of the Facebook groups. Um, he was super quick to ship these out. Gave me a different variety of them. And uh, the reason I have so many is uh, for you guys. So at the end of this, I will announce how you can win these, how you can enter if you want to customize your Venom. Now, I pretty much, let me get this sword out of Venom's hand. I pretty much uh, opted for this because I didn't want to pay the massive price um, for... Or not the massive price. I didn't want to pay for the massive Venom with the price with me already having another Venom. And so I just wanted to be able to have the look of like the animated or comic book style Venom without having a massive scale Venom. Granted, this is Tom Hardy's Venom. It's not animated. I still kind of miss that spider logo on the chest. And this was the easiest way to do it. It was super uh, convenient and easy uh, for him to do for me. They are custom decals. I don't know if you can do this yourself, but he was able to send them to me. So this is my first time doing it. Um, you guys are going to do it with me. I do know you need a heat gun to do this, um, but we're going to go ahead and experiment. So I guess also when you get yours, you can kind of repeat what I'm doing. I noticed on some of them, they're cut out. Um, and on others, they're not. So yeah, it's just a, a vinyl decal. We're going to start from this side first and the paper is coming up on this one. So I gotta, yeah, we're just going to start from the legs then because it's already sticking to the paper here. Okay, so I got it off and it's a jumbled mess. It is very sticky. You don't want it to stick to each other. Um, so I'm just gonna try and get the chest centered up and then we'll lay it on the figure with each leg. It's kind of where I want it. And now you can just spread these legs out, get them unstuck like that. And then just repeat on the other side. And this is totally removable. I can maybe get, so this is what it looks like so far sticking on them. And I'm just gonna keep adjusting these legs until I think he's basically perfect. So that's why you get so many, like now, because that's all up, I can like focus on centering the body and just lifting and pressing. 
And, and keep in mind, you can keep doing this because it's not really activated until you put a heat gun to it. So... I'm just retaking these off and putting them back down because um, the other side I feel like I did better and I want to I want to get these legs to lay where they're comfortable at so I'm just lifting each one again this is taking longer than I wanted to but hey that's what customization takes whoops and I got some bigger hands and bigger fingers, so this is not the easiest thing for me to do. Okay, so now I've kind of futzed around with it. I started pressing it down of where I want it to lay, where I want it to, to sit. And I uh, think I'm happy with it for now. I do have an extra one in case I do want to change it. I think the placement could have been a little bit better. But hey, for my first time, that's not bad. And that's why you get multiple. Um, and whoever gets, you know, the giveaway part, you'll have multiple in there as well. Different ones for you to try. So now what I'm going to do is use my wife's uh, hair dryer because I don't have a heat gun. And we're going to add a little bit of heat. Now I will advise, be very, very careful with the heat because there is a coating on top of this figure also before applying the decal you have to be willing to deal with that coating um as this does stick but it's not as sticky as you would think and like i said it doesn't really activate until heat is with it so yeah so my wife's hair dryer has a hot and a warm i'm gonna go warm to start and maybe put it on low and then that way uh, I can take my time and gently go over back and forth. You don't want to stay in one spot as you could also damage the figure. You could burn the decal, melt the decal. So we're always going to want to be moving when we're dealing with vinyl. This goes for like if you've done uh, car wrap, stuff like that. You know, and just for added protection, I'm going to go ahead and remove the head sculpt so I can move a little bit more fluently. So you can automatically see with the heat, it kind of takes more shape to the body and the texture of the body. I really like the way that looks. That's also why I opted for this decal. So we're gonna keep on heating it um, and keep on going back and forth over it. So it's starting to get a little hot right now. I'm holding the cool button to cool it back down a little bit and then let it reheat. Because again, I don't want this too hot. I just want it warm enough for this to stick and to shrink i'm also going to change it uh to low setting oh it already was low so I'm, i should be good all right so here we have what this could potentially look like on your figure i don't think the placement is exactly perfect because there's a bigger gap over here than over here but i'm really happy with it um it is completely removable I left myself another in case I want to attempt this again at maybe getting this more centered. But for now, this will do, and I'm super happy about it. So if you guys would like to enter and do this yourself to get yourself all these sets, uh, there's some matte ones here and some gloss ones as well. I uh, got a little bit of a different logo, which this will go more over the shoulder. And then two, uh, one of these styles, which I have currently on the figure, and the other three are this. So if you would like to win these and have these and do this to your Venom figure, um, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and comment down below 
how you think I did or why you think you want these for your Venom figure. Whatever you want to comment, as long as you comment, you will be entered to win the giveaway. Okay, guys, so I'm a bit of a perfectionist. You can see I took the first one that I did and used my second one because I wasn't really happy with the placement. And I realized that the bottom of this should go under his chest because that's where the torso starts. And I got it more centered um, here. So I'm more happy with this. The legs are a bit even on both sides. And um, I heated it up, did the same thing. And you can really see the ab detail. Um, it's more centered. Uh, I definitely am more happy with the second one. Um, versus the first one that I did. So just take your time. I did the same thing, except uh, for some reason, the second one that I did peeled off uh, a little bit easier on the second than the first one. And I kind of had one leg unstuck, so I left it on the paper. And then I focused centering uh, the spider first and where I wanted it, and I put this in the chest area. And then what I did was... I pushed on it because it does shrink and sink into the joint. That's why it looks so good once you add heat. So I made sure when that spider was on the front there, I pushed um, into his the seam line there of his chest just to make sure that that was the placement that I wanted. And then I just went over um, and pressed down, uh, got it to fold down. I didn't leave it completely floating the whole time. And then I just used heat, um, taking off the vinyl, did not damage the figure at all. So there was no peeling, no flaking, uh, the top coat, whatever was fine, even with the heat. Um, I definitely recommend if you're going to do this to let it cool down before trying to reapply and, uh, just take your time guys. So like I said, if you want to enter comment down below, you must be subscribed to the channel also hit the like button uh, and this time for real take care and I will catch you guys in the next one.